Hello and welcome back to my small Squana channel and as you already know from the title today's episode is about the radiator again and my heat issues that I have and um, you will find my radiator already here and um, yeah I've been preparing my bike for some upcoming rally event next weekend and I was uh, setting up my suspension and as you see here this one is new so maybe there will be some upcoming video about the WP Explore Pro um, anyway, so um, I was setting up my bike and uh, did some test ride and have to install the roadbook and stuff like that. And I recognized that my cooler has some uh, leakage and yeah, my radiator, sorry. And you will find the radiator just over here. And um, as you see, I already tried to fix it. So um, um, I brought this to the workshop. The workshop told me, okay, they can't repair it. So I repaired it by myself um, with, some, with some glue, different glues. So. Um, this glue and um, some other epoxy glue um, over here just to, to fix it. And I brought it back to the workshop and they tested it, they pressure tested it in, in some uh, bath tube and or some, some pool. And it seems to be um, yeah um, non-leaking again. So it seems to work, but only in cold conditions. So I don't know about um, yeah what happens if you are going to start riding and this one will increase temperature and uh, will expand, so will this crack? Um, and that's the reason why I bought a new cooler over here. <coughs> and um, yeah, this cooler is for, is for some 2018 uh, KTM Enduro. So it won't fit um, yeah, directly, I think. And that's the reason why I'm um, yeah, shooting this episode, um, just for you to, to know if some um, cooler um, or radiator from some KTM 2018 Enduro R is matching the Husqvarna 701 and um, yeah the biggest reason is that uh, this one was new like um, 440 euro and this one is about 160 euro and I don't like to spend 440 euro for a piece like this um, so I already know that some parts are not matching for example this uh, this guard won't match exactly and we will find out which part um, also doesn't match exactly so um, yeah, let's unbox uh, the new radiator and compare them. So here we are comparing both radiators and this one is of course a stock one from the Husqvarna 701 and this one is a uh, um, yeah, radiator from uh, the third party for the Enduro R 2080 KTM and um, what you uh, can immediately um, see and recognize is that uh, the stock fan has much more fins from, from right to left side. So here we are and if you compare it so here are much more less fins than, than here and um, of course this means that this one has a, a bigger surface area and um, of course a bigger surface area means um, that you will have a better heat transfer from um, the radiator to the ambient and uh, this means that the efficiency of this radiator will definitely be as good as this one. Anyway, I will <laughs> or I want to run this one. Um, I want to match it just uh, to check if it's running and what's the behavior. And um, yeah, let's go to the parts uh, which match and the parts that doesn't match. Okay, what will match? 
um, yeah, between those two radiators. Um, of course, this this rubbers um, they are the same um, as on the old one. This one you can insert here, no, no issues at all. Um, you can use also um, the cap, the old one from the Husqvarna, because this and this one um, is the same. And um, if you take a look from here, so the connection for the hoses are nearly the same, so you have a slightly different angle, so um, I try to match those, um, and yeah, let's see if it works out or not, and the same on uh, the other side. And, um, and also these parts here, this um, distance pieces or metals that you have uh, here on this side and as well as uh, on, on this side, these are also exactly the same, I checked it in the manual on, or in the spare parts catalog, and these and this are exactly the same as um, yeah, the ones that are foreseen for, for this one, to connect it here and down here. Um, so, yeah, this means some parts will match. Ah, yes, I forgot um, the temperature switch um, for the radiator fan. Um, this one will also match directly here, so it's the same, it's the same thread, no, no issues at all. So, uh, what exactly does not match? Um, yeah, the biggest issue that I have right now is um, that the distance between here and here uh, is much wider uh, as the distance between here and there. So if you check it, um, you can see that this distance here is like 240 millimeters and this distance over here is like uh, 210 millimeters approximately. So that means that this one of course is wider but um, it's not that bad. Um, it would be worse um, if this one would be uh, more to the inside, um, because then I would not have any option um, yeah, to, to build an adapter. And what I think about right now is to go to the, to the workshop and buy some material and screws and build some um, distance piece for this one and just use some longer bolts and uh, try to connect it. And of course, one point I forgot to mention is um, the radiator fan. So I have two fans here. So this one is uh, an upgraded one, this one is a stock one. Um, if you does not know the differences, so you can check out uh, one of my later videos or latest videos. And um, yeah, if you put it here, it will match with a screw or with a, with a, um, a hole and, and thread over there. But of course, not on the downside here or on the bottom. So I also need to um, yeah, create an, an, an angle or whatever just to um, keep those both pins in place. Um, here it's matching perfectly well. And um, yeah, I think once if I really put in the angle here, this is uh, quite perfect for the fan. Um, yeah, same of course for the stock fan. This one doesn't match at all because of, oh, sorry, um, because of the bigger casing. So um, you would have to do some rework of the casing and cut out some pieces over here. And as well, uh, you need to uh, yeah, um, create some, some angle or whatever down here to fix it. So let's go to the yeah, Home Depot, buy some screw stuff and distance pieces. I hope to get everything and um, I hope that this one will be installed <laughs> over there this evening and um, yeah to check and run it. Okay. Another important information that I just figured out when I uh, checked uh, to install this one is that the height of uh, the radiator itself, um, so the original one is like uh, 200 millimeters and um, this, uh, yeah, the other one is like 20 two centimeters. Sorry, this was of course uh, centimeters, uh, 20 centimeters and 22 centimeters here. And um, at least this is bigger, so maybe this will compensate the missing uh, fins uh, from, from this fan. And um, yeah, if you check also this radiator guard over here, this matches at least on the bottom. And if you like to, yeah. <laughs> You can uh, use some, some wire scraps and just pull it around here, and I guess this is exactly what I will do. And um, and yeah, that's that's all. So this will be protected enough. But in the end, I also like this optic. Um, but of course, it's unprotected. So if you have some some uh, rocks or anything um, flying against your radiator, you may damage it. 
Um, yeah, so you can use it if you'd like. Oh, I would, I would think about if I would use it or not. And um, yeah, this uh, is the reason why I recognize that this one is like two rows bigger. And um, yeah, maybe this will make it a bit more complicated to to match it onto my bike. But we'll see. Okay, so check out what I just found. I have some some pipe here. So this one has a diameter of 12 millimeter, and it um, matches exactly this rubber grommet um, for the cooler uh, for the radiator. And I will cut this pipe um, and create some some distance piece so that the radiator can move freely onto this pipe um, when it's going to extend. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm going to cut this one into 35 millimeter pieces and insert it here and install it. And this is what it will look like. So um, unfortunately I needed some, some longer bolt here. Uh, this size uh, six times uh, 40 and I need like six times um, yeah at least 50 or 60. But I guess you get the idea. So um, you have to grease it a bit and then it can move freely here on, on this pipe. Um, yeah, just for heat expansion. And right now I will install um, yeah, the brackets um, here and try to match them uh, to this point over here. So yeah, let's see if it works out fine. Okay, so as you just saw, I built those uh, uh, distance pieces here, um, 30 millimeters, uh, diameter 12 millimeter. And um, so it can move freely. You can um, yeah, grease it a bit so that it runs uh, smooth through um, this opening uh, through this um, rubber grommet and um, one thing I recognized is that you have to take really care um, because of this fins here so um, if you barely touch them they are going to, to bend already um, yeah so you don't have this issue here with this one a bit okay but here it would be much worse as you do with your with your fingernail you go across here all of them would be bent um, okay, so this part is um, finished and right now I will remove uh, these pieces here and put them down here and here and um, yeah, we'll have a look if this one will, will fit. Okay, so these pieces are um, yeah assembled to the radiator. This is finished, so next up is um, of course a cooling fan and this one is just over here and as you already know from the beginning of the video so it doesn't match and I got myself some um, aluminium bar and what I will do with this let's move this one away sorry um, I will just put it down here and do some some cutouts or some drillings um, to make it match with um, those both um, pins down here and then fix it with some I think this is some M5 screw. Over here it was a, a different one, as far as I know. But I will let you know later when I assemble this. Okay, so this is what the finished piece looks like. And of course it's getting connected here and here. And those pins need to get into the other holes. And I had to cut some um, some part of uh, this angle here so just like uh, five millimeters and then with a the slide uh, with a slide uh, I don't want to destroy anything just give it a second so it will slide on here and will also stay in place so This is what the depth looks like. Of course, I need to bolt it and uh, tie it here and over there. So um, I need to buy another bolt. I don't think I have it in my in my toolbox uh, over there. But anyway, so the fan perfectly fits right now onto the new radiator. Yeah, just by the way. So this one is an original bolt for the fan. Um, so this one doesn't fit and this one is m5 so this is um, yeah this is an m6 bolt i need to get it as well um, as well as i need to get uh, those longer bolts for for this place here and yeah then i will fan to it and then i will assemble this piece hopefully 
to the spy. Okay, I got myself some bolts um, for the fan and as well some, some longer ones for um, the radiator itself. Um, yeah, so right now I'm going to connect everything together onto my bike and um, tomorrow morning um, with a better light I will let you know how it looks like because right now it's getting dark and um, I think the quality is getting worse so um, yeah, I will assemble hopefully everything and we'll let you know tomorrow morning what it looks like. So there she is, and as you already saw in uh, the previous shot, um, I made it to match the um, radiator of the uh, KTM 2018 um, Enduro R onto my Husqvarna 2020 um, Enduro R, and um, I used oh sorry um, I used the original mounting points in the end. So um, I used this and this over there, and down here I used also the um, original mounting uh, point and the reason is um, that you um, have to lean this radiator or to um, yeah to to adjust the angle a bit because otherwise uh, otherwise it's just like um, straight and then you are facing the issue that um, if you use your full suspension travel that um, your your tire or your front fender will um, touch the radiator because this one is um, bigger as the original one so you have two rows more as you saw before and um, yeah you have to do some some work at least um, if you want to install this one um, and save some money uh, you have to uh, do some work at least this was like i don't know how many hours like five up to eight hours of work um, I think if you have a real workshop and not like me, um, you can do it in two hours or whatever. And um, you need a multi-tool in the end um, to cut out some pieces. And um, yeah, right now I will let you know which pieces you have to modify. And um, later on, I will maybe put some uh, list down below this video with um, its necessary screws and parts that you need. And um, yeah, so. Let's talk about the things that you had to modify onto, on your bike um, to make this uh, radiator fit. So, first of all, you have to cut out the radiator itself. Maybe you can see it down here. Because otherwise it will touch um, the exhaust pipe. And um, it's just like a small cut. You can use some um, yeah, multi-tool to, to cut it. Uh, no big issue at all. So the second thing that you have to uh, modify is this angle here, so this one is the angle for um, the radiator fan and uh, you have to cut it out, otherwise it will uh, get in touch with your frame here. So um, also some work for the multi-tool and um, yeah, you can cut it out and uh, so right now it fits perfectly. So behind here, um, there's a fan, right now you can't see it. Exactly, but um, you have to cut out some uh, some piece of the of the fan bracket. Um, so we won't see it, but um, you have to cut out um, the the right edge um, of the fan bracket, 
uh, to make it fit because um, otherwise you get into issues um, or you, you will touch your ABS um, sonnet valve block which is also over there. Um, so yeah, nothing big, just cut it away with a multi-tool and, um, and it's fine. I will also add the um, radiator protection later. So um, right now I use some, some uh, wire straps here just to connect the side panels. And I also drilled some new hole in there in, in, in there to get the uh, wire straps through later and to use this original points here um, to connect the, uh, yeah, the cover or protector. And um, because right now um, I'm running it just to test and I want to see if uh, everything is fine and nothing is leaking. Um, and I think about to buy the radiator um, guard of, of the KTM 2018 that you can see right now inside this picture. And um, this will match, of course, perfectly with uh, the holes down here. And as well, it will be, um, it will be bigger. Um, because you have two more rows here on this radiator and my uh, yeah, protector is only just like going from from a bottom to to here and so the um, top two rows are, are free and not protected that's the reason why I think about to buy the radiator guard of uh, the KTM and just cut it away and make it fit to my bike so yeah these are the points or the things that you have to um, you know, do some rework and uh, to make it fit, a fit. Um, but uh, at least you will uh, just pay like 160 euro for, for this radiator instead of 440 euro. So I think it's quite expensive. Of course I need to test it and uh, let's see if it will work out fine. But up to now it uh, seemed to be good and um, yeah, perfect. I also have to to say that I'm that I'm very much into this uh, into this um, aluminium and hand welded uh, optic. So this one looks like like yeah like a rally radiator. And um, in terms of the optics and um, yeah, for me it looks like pretty awesome. So much much better as a black original one. And. Um, that's the reason why I don't like to run this uh, protector right now, but um, of course later on I will put it onto my bike, but right now I just enjoy the, the looks of it and um, yeah, in my opinion it's awesome. Okay, thank you very much if you made it to the end. Um, uh, I enjoyed the work uh, changing this radiator. Um, I hope you um, enjoyed it too and um, you got some idea what you have to do and uh, yeah, about the things that you need to um, refit um, if you want to install this radiator and save some money. Um, so yeah, please leave a like, um, comment down below if you have any question and um, see you in the next video.